The only real hope and change you'll ever get is from God. It's going to come from the Lord or it's not going to come at all. It's going to come when you admit that you can't do it and that you've got to have His help. God bless you. Well, we're at that time where it's all going a little bit crazy, all going a little bit chaotic. But the one thing you need, which everyone should be prepared to have at hand at every moment of every day, is your Bible. You want your Bible. You want to be studying. You want to be learning. You want to make sure you know your Bible. Because there are those that will say one thing, but they'll change certain things. They'll seem good, but you see, Jesus said one thing. A little bit of leaven raises the whole lump. A little bit of error. Once it begins, it gains traction. And once someone starts teaching error and building error, well, we end up with all sorts of different doctrines and all sorts of different types of beliefs and teachings. But you're to live by every word of God. That's what Jesus said. Jesus says it. I ain't arguing. See, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and no one come to the Father but by the Son. But how many people want to actually listen to the Son? How many want to have a pricked heart? Well, they say, what do we do to be saved? And they're given the answer. And they are told, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And remember, there were those that gladly heard and were baptized. And Jesus says, those that love me will keep my commandments. And this commandment I give to you, that you have love for one another. Or again, where it says, love covereth many sins. All these different things, and yet people deny and reject to love. To consider what God asks of us. Jesus is our example. If we are to follow Him, we are to walk as Him. To learn from Him. Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth. Jesus' teachings. Those that hear these sayings and do them, I like them to wise will seek Christ to show you the way because you are to have a right relationship with God above. Knowing your Father in heaven, knowing your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as the Holy Spirit worketh in you and through you, enjoying the peace of Christ in you, in union, blessed in that peace that you can only get through him by abiding in him. You see, student becomes like teacher. We learn as we grow, so learn his teachings, Learn from his example. And as he said, deny self, pick up your cross and follow me. So what do we do? We deny ourselves, we pick up our cross and we follow him. So stand up for him. So think, study, and consider your relationship with God. Get your notebooks, get your study books, get your highlighters out and your pens. Read and read and take notes on chapter and verse as you learn and grow because Jesus is there for all and consider all your struggles consider where you are today and seek the Lord to set your path straight by not leaning on your own understanding but ask and you receive so ask God there are those that argue those that have not given up the ego those that put themselves first, that reject things of the Bible, those that reject these things, Jesus has already answered all those questions. It's to follow him. You see, only seekers of the Lord seek Christ's guidance and counsel. God sent his only begotten son. He came to save, so learn from him. The Holy Spirit that works in you will convict your conscience the moral standard of God. Jesus came to teach and to guide and to bring salvation. You can't take issue or argue with Christ. If you do, that's on you. It's not me you argue with, it's scripture. Jesus said, we have to live by every word of God. But it is up to us if we will do it. Just as he says, those that love me will keep my commandments. Those are Jesus' words. So if you want to say, uh uh, then that's on you. Learn from Christ and his teachings. Be pricked in the heart, a renewed conscience, standing in the love of Christ. Trust in him and believe in him, because time is ticking. 
be pricked in the heart. Just like those in Acts chapter 2, 37 to 38. Spend your time in prayer seeking unto the Lord for guidance and counsel. Trust in Christ. Put your faith in him. Because all those that believed and were gladly baptized, 3,000 were added to that number that day. It says they were gladly baptized. The joy of it, the change, the renewal, because you die to self and you rise again with him in baptism. Our conscience is awakened by the presence of Jesus Christ. He's our savior that we can trust. He is there for us. He took the punishment for all of us. And it's his Holy Spirit that leads and guides and instructs us every step of the way. He paid our price. So now we look unto him, believing in him, trusting in him. It is seeking him every step of the way, giving thanks to God. There's victory in Christ. Greater is he in me than the prince of this world. It's not I that live, but Christ in me, him in us, so that we can live that crucified life, that we can deny self, that we can pick up our cross, that we can follow him. Just as when God speaks and says, this is my beloved son, listen to him. So we must hear, we must listen, we must identify and admit, follow and devote and dedicate ourselves unto him, to follow the lamb wherever he goes. He is our guide, he is our shepherd. Do not listen to a stranger. He will never lead you wrong. Man is fallible, however God is not. Our foundation is the cornerstone that is Jesus Christ. We cannot be neutral, lukewarm in this day and age because there will be a day where we stand before him. And we must consider what he will say before us. And we do not wish to be those that he says, I do not know you. Depart from you who practice iniquity. We have to consider everything, to examine self, for us to work out salvation in fear and trembling. We cannot live in vanity. We cannot hide from the Lord. There's nowhere to hide. We can't run from him. But you should give and trust and devote yourself unto Jesus Christ. Let him fill your heart and bring you peace and joy. Follow him every step of the way, obeying and learning as he teaches, and walk with Christ. Be strengthened, for as it says in Colossians, if ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth, for ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Everything down here doesn't matter. Focus on your time to be there with Him. Live this life, running the race, jumping over every hurdle of the flesh, overcoming those hurdles by walking in the Spirit and not the flesh so that you can mortify the deeds of the flesh to crucify it and to walk with God uprightly and wholeheartedly the crucified life so that you are overcome all obstacles because it's a journey walking with God every step of the way and let Christ give you strength so that you can be successful in your journey so that you can persevere so you can endure and so you can overcome to so seek the things that are above, don't get caught out in the flesh. And be careful of those that speak with leaven, for there are many that do, and yet they gain traction, because each and every one of us desires to finish the race faithfully. We don't want to fall at the last hurdle, so make it to the end. Christ is risen. He is our conviction, our strength. He supports us in this walk. Just as in the days of old, so shall it be again, for there's nothing new under the sun. Remember the persecution and the martyrdom of many followers of Christ. What is done before is done again. There's nothing new under the sun. Knowing this, you know what's coming. And if he lives, which you know he does, we shall live with him. We shall overcome with our testimony of Christ. And we will be triumphant because he is with us, he leads us we follow and we knowing that we are risen with him as our holy spirit guides us we will rise and see him as he truly is when he comes on the clouds of heaven so be patient and be joyous and be bold in christ because the deceiver the devil the adversary he sends those to sow confusion to sow error and discord and even the agents of Satan can transform as angels of light. And there is great deception. 
then there is a mark that will come where people will not be able to buy or sell unless they receive a mark. Do not fear the hardships and obstacles of life, but trust in Christ in them, so that you can't be tempted by a mark that will allow you to have another day, to make a day a bit easier. What is the gain of man? To gain the world but lose his soul. You see, God will be coming to destroy all this wickedness. It will be done away with. It will be given unto a man's number. 666. Iron and clay don't mix. Don't let them deceive you. Be aware of their plans and their ploys. They bring it in stage by stage. They try to normalize depravity. It's bread and circuses they occupy with all the things of the world so you don't consider the things that go on in the background. The secret handshakes, the authority and power they give to those to enforce wickedness upon thee. But be renewed in mind and spirit daily so you can overcome. So you are not wearied, not tired from all of this. Remember, Christ has all authority in heaven and earth and is unto him you stand for is unto him you follow not the beast do not fear the devil instead fear God alone for it is to fear God and keep the commandments that is man's all and we are to live by every word of God be doers of the word not just hearers know the tree by its fruits and a man his deeds stand for the Lord turn from all the paths of wickedness and darkness have no part thereof instead expose and stand for Christ in this storm because it's gaining traction and we are at a turning point where there's going to be a lot more darkness it's going to be a lot more normalized it's going to be a lot more accepted and they are going to persecute you a lot more for your faith judged because of your faith so we must stand we must stand in Christ wise as serpents harmless as doves showing no partiality but loving everyone as ourselves regardless of deed and conduct. For they will know you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Love everyone as yourself. Remember there will be a time and when that time doth come, whether it be with your head on or your head off, praising God to stand bold in Christ. God bless you all. Jesus Christ said, except you repent, you shall all likewise perish.